The portals have opened once more. The galaxy holds its breath, waiting to see if violence will return. But with limited resources and a lack of will to fight, war takes on a different form. On the planet where the three portals conjoined, the new Galactic Senate formed a base known as the Hub, acting as a bridge across civilizations. From the dynamic cityscapes of Techno Central to the desert sunrises of Vermittler, the greatest wonders of the galaxy are in front of you. Are you ready to lead? Galactic Renaissance is a game of political intrigue, control, and expansion for two to four players. Starting with seven advisors, players will build their deck, adding new specialists that strengthen their deck and bring new abilities to the table, all to help you extend your influence on the galaxy. Travel from your home planet to your seat at the new Galactic Senate on the hub, or use ancient portals to travel between any other connected planets. Your emissaries will build cultural institutes and cooperate with the local populations on the galaxy's many planets. But be careful not to overwhelm a planet with too much influence, the stability of these planets hangs in delicate balance. Discover ancient foundations or centers that are keeping old galactic beings in deep stasis. Resurrect these specialists and heed their guidance as they join you and mentor you on your political journey. Spread your emissaries, build institutes, and recruit experts to carefully spread your presence across the galaxy. Too much influence on one planet will cause disorder from which the players will need to evacuate in order to restore balance to the planet. Gradually gain reputation by achieving the objectives of the Senate. To be the true leader of the galaxy, a strong reputation will not be enough. A leader must perform one final grand act to become the new Galactic Senate President and ensure peace amongst the planets. You must gain at least 10 points in a single round to prove your worth to lead the Senate. But can a Senate truly function as a tool for peace? Only you can answer.